Dear students, today we will discuss some very important characteristic features of phylum Silentata. We have already started this topic and this, is the, this one is the third lecture on phylum Silentata. In this lecture, we will discuss some more important characteristic features of this phylum Silentata, Nidaria, Radiata as well as we will discuss biodiversity of this phylum and economic importance of phylum Silentata. Dear students, see, jitne bhi humne notes banaye, in sab ki PDF file, humne video lecture uske description mein upload kar di. Sabhi bache apne notes download kar le. To dear students, in today's lecture, we will cover some characteristic features of this phylum Silentata biodiversity and very important economic importance of this phylum. Very important lecture for all competitive exams and particularly BSc students. This is final exam topic. Circulation. In cylindrates, fluid circulation and that fluid circulation occurs through main body cavity. That body cavity is cylindron that is gastrovascular cavity and in that gastrovascular cavity food circulates by peristaltic actions and beating of flagella of gastrodermal cells nervous system in these cylindrates nervous system is simple primitive type it is diffused and plexiform as in these cylindrates the nerve cells and these nerve cells are multipolar because these nerve cells possess several nerve fibrils and these nerve fibrils are nodulated means these are multipolar nerve cells and these nerve cells produce a network plexiform in epidermis as well as gastrodermis. It means in both layers of body wall, epidermis as well as gastrodermis, these multipolar now cells produce a network, plexiform of simple nervous type, primitive type of nervous system. And these now cells are unpolarized. These are multipolar because each cell having several nerve fibers. But these are unpolar because there is no differentiation of dendron, dendrites and axons. No differentiation. And there is no differentiation of central nervous system. Means in case of cylindrates, the nervous system, first time nervous system appears and it is simple primitive type. Sensory system. The sensory system consists of cells and these sensory cells are present in both epidermis as well as gastrodermis. Several types of sensory cells are present in these layers. Ocelli, these are photoreceptor cells. Olfactory pits, very important for competitive students. Ocelli, photoreceptors, olfactory pits, these are meant for sense of smell. And another very important, very important, these are statocysts. These cells are involved in equilibrium, balancing the body. Reproduction. These animals, these cylindrates, they reproduce by both methods, sexually as well as asexually. As we know in case of cylindrates, polymorphism. And in this polymorphism, division of labor is very clear. The polyform that reproduce asexually to give rise sexual forms. And the medusa, they reproduce sexually. They produce gametes. Fertilization. Fertilization, dear students, it may be external. As in case of obelia colony, Kal start karenge bacho, obelia colony. In that obelia, both gametes are discharged in seawater. Means fertilization that occurs 
outside the body, it is external. But in some silentates, fertilization may be internal, as in case of Aurelia. The gametic fusion takes place inside the body, that is internal fertilization in case of Aurelia. Means both types of fertilization, fusion of gametes may be outside body or may take place inside the body. Development, very important for all competitive students. Development. Development is indirect except some forms like Hydra. Otherwise, in all cylindrates, a larval stage appears. And in these cylindrates, a free swimming larva, very important note down this point, a free swimming larva that is planula larva. And that planula larva, it is a free swimming larva. And it undergoes another very important point, protostomous metamorphosis. Protostomous means the blastopore of embryonic stage and that blastopore gives rise mouth. That kind of metamorphosis, it is protostomous metamorphosis. Means very clear, blastopore forms the mouth. Kya ka Development is indirect. Because in their life cycle, in their life history, a larva is present. And that larva is planula, which is free swimming larva in case of sponges porifera. Not down, very important free swimming larva that was amphiblastula. But in these cylindrates, the larva is planula. That amphiblastula larva having half, half body flagellated and half non-flagellated. Another important point, another important point for all competitive exams and BSc final year students, metagenesis. Metagenesis means in these cylindrates, polyp reproduce is sexually to give rise medusa. And the medusa reproduce sexually to give rise polyp. This is alternation of generation means both polyp and medusa this they alternate in their life cycle and this property this phenomenon is alternation of generation or metagenesis economic importance of cylindrates very important very important question for final exam economic importance some cylindrates are useful first of all we will discuss Useful cylindrates. Study of cylindrates in biological phenomena. Biological phenomenon study ki baat kare bacho. Some cylindrates like hydra. And that hydra first time was studied by Abraham Tremblay in 1745. And he studied, first time he studied the hydra shows a remarkable power of regeneration. Siphonophores, siphonophores, like Obelia, like Valela, Parpita, Physella. These are studied. These siphonophores are studied to show polymorphism. Polymorphism means these organisms having division of labor their members of colony are divided to perform several functions that property that property is polymorphism as their members are of different types and they perform different functions nutrition nutritional importance certain cylindrates are consumed as food by man as several species of jellyfishes are commonly used by man particularly in Italy ornamental importance ornamental importance dear students some cylindrates have ornamental and decorative value as these are very beautiful for example Valela, 
Vanilla. It is sail by wind. Commonly, it is named sail by wind. And this cylindrate, it is most beautiful cylindrate. It is used as decorative article. It is used as ornamental article in our houses. In which row gardens, in aquarium, as well as these cylindrates are used in jewelries. Another example, Gorgonia. Commonly, it is named sea fan. And this Gorgonia, it produces, it is very beautiful. And this cylindrate, most attractive feature of coral reefs and islands. Red coral of corallium, not down it, students. Red coral of corallium. And this red coral, it is used in necklaces and in which jewelries. Another example, corals of fungia. This is commonly named mushroom coral. Very important example for all competitive exams, mushroom coral. That is fungia. And it is used. This coral is used. This cylindrate is used as decorative articles in houses, in rogue gardens, in aquarium. Formation of coral reefs. Dear students, corals, coral reefs. First of all, we will discuss corals. Some cylindrates particularly belong, which belong to class Anthozoa, which belong to class Actinozoa. And some members of hydrozone means mainly particularly the class anthozoa, actinozoa, and some hydrozones are involved in coral formation. Coral means these cylindrates, particularly their polyform that secretes lime, calcium carbonate. And their calcareous exoskeleton. How many are dear students? Their calcareous exoskeleton. That is named coral. And these cylindrates which produce calcareous exoskeleton or coral are named coral animals. Kya ka Coral animals like fungia, like madripora, like millipora, common coral animals. What are coral reefs? Dear students, coral reefs, their calcareous exoskeleton that is coral. And these corals, these calcareous exoskeleton produce extensive masses of dry land. And these extensive mass of corals are named coral reefs, islands. And which of these coral reefs provide habitat for several organisms as well as these corals, coral reefs, their stones are used in house construction. Some harmful cylindrates, harmful cylindrates, give which discuss discussed useful cylindrates. As we know, the cylindrates, all cylindrates are carnivorous. All cylindrates are carnivorous. Means these are predators. So they consume some crustaceans, larvae of insects, and dear students, they consume some fishes, small sized fishes. And very, very harmful, very dangerous cylindrate that is Physalia. Commonly, it is named for neat students. It is Parthkis man of war. This Physalia or Parthkis man of war, it produces a toxin and that toxin is neurotoxin. It affects our brain, central nervous system and this toxin is very harmful. It is so dangerous like King Cobra's toxin. So dear students, this is all about 
phylum cellent data biodiversity economic importance and tomorrow's lecture we will discuss obelia type study the c5 okay thank you